Good day, everybody, and uh, Happy New Year 2024. Uh, this is my first video for 2024, and today's video, we're going to talk about five condos that are walking distance uh, to the JB Singapore MRT uh, in JB, right? So if you want to buy five condos, which are the five condos to look out for, which are walking distance to the JB Singapore MRT, right? Because if you want to buy a condo in JB, you might as well buy something that's walking distance. Uh, no point you buy something that's 10 minute drive, 20 minute drive, half an hour drive, right? Then it defeats the purpose, right? You got MRT coming to JB, then you buy as near to the MRT as possible, right? Why, why you want to buy so far away? Okay, so, uh, yeah, like in Singapore, same, right? You can buy near MRT, buy near MRT. Uh, no reason to buy far away, especially when you go to JB, right? Where you know the market is more volatile, you want to play safe, you buy as near to the MRT as possible, which means must be walking distance. So today, I'm going to talk about five condos, uh, my selection, uh, which I think are the so-called competitors uh, to each other. And let's go through them uh, uh, one by one in detail. We'll talk about the project itself, some details, the pros and cons of each project, and uh, finally, I'll talk about which is my preferred one among the five. Okay, number one is uh, Tri Tower Residences. Now, Tri Tower Residences, by its name, as you can tell, is three towers, three very small towers, um, 360 units, uh, freehold. Uh, they are already 100% sold, uh, completed in uh, 2018, uh, built by a local developer called SKS Group. Now, this project, um, because it's fully sold, you can only buy uh, resale. And if you're Singaporean, buy resale means you have to buy above 1 million ringgit, means you have to buy the large units. Huh? The small, small sizes you cannot get because they are below 1 million ringgit if you're a foreigner. Because foreigner in Malaysia can only buy above 1 million ringgit for resale. New, you can buy from developer below 1 million, but above 1 million uh, for resale. Okay, so I hope that was clear. So this project, the big positive is is pretty near to the RTS station, the MRT station, right? So the it's only like 100 meters away. Uh, that's the biggest plus point is the, the MRT station is just like behind you uh, a little bit so it's not very far away I think probably about 100 meter walk uh, the other plus point is that Capri by Fraser uh, operates a hotel so the three towers one of it is operated by Capri so there's a very nice uh, hotel there uh, there's, there's also a very nice sky function room I think it's a plus point and I was I was struggling to think of a third plus point but I think the sky function room in sky tri tower is very nice there's a sky bridge with a function room which is very nice uh you have a very nice view, uh, view of jbc center now the negatives of tri tower actually um the number one negative is actually the walkway right the 100 meter distance to the mrt station despite being 100 meters there's no proper walkway and it's not sheltered right so that means you go out and uh, you get hit by the rain the sun you can be hit by a car even because some parts of the Walkway uh, is not there, uh, means there's no walkway, you have to walk on the road, uh, literally walk on the road, uh, which is dangerous, uh, right? You know, JB, Malaysia, sometimes don't walk on the road, uh, dangerous, right? So, uh, although a short distance, but I find it very weird, uh, I've done the walk before, I found it yeah, very weird, it's so near F uh, MRT, but uh, don't have proper walkway, right? And um, some people may argue, right, don't the developer build a walkway, or would the government build a walkway? Maybe, I think government, uh, developer, no reason, because developer sold everything, why would they come in? build a walkway, right? But uh, government, maybe, when the RTS station is complete, they may think, yeah, all this nearby uh, should be sheltered. Lah. But as of now, there's none. Okay, as of now, there is none. So you have that risk, right? Um, the other thing is the site is very small. It's just a two-acre site. The lobby design is very weird. You've got to go up, go down part. Uh, I found a very weird entrance into Tri Tower. It doesn't feel very five-star. The units itself also don't feel five-star. The early owners paid about 901000 per square foot, right? And it doesn't feel very high-end. Uh, try tower. Uh, 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 try tower. Yeah, that's the thing. So I mean, you get the the kitchen don't match the unit. I mean, I found it very weird. You pay so much money, but you don't get a high end spec. Like. we don't say five star, five star, like, But even, I mean, four star. Also, you struggle to call it a four star specifications for try tower. So that's the problem in try tower. But that being said, try tower today uh, enjoys very high occupancy uh, because it's near immigration. So I think all these condos uh, we're talking about today enjoy very high occupancy because of the uh, near to immigration uh, and also potentially near to uh, uh, and also near to RTS in the future so but these are the negatives of Tri Tower the pros and cons uh, in, in short okay number two is Twin Tower residence now Twin Tower is the cousin of Tri Tower right they are next to each other um, if you talk about Tri Tower you have to talk about Twin Tower so Twin Tower is next to Tri Tower further away a little bit built by the same developer completed last year in around March 2023 so it's a Fairly new building, uh, four five eight units freehold. Uh, again, it's fully sold by the developer, so you have to buy from resale. And I think Twin Tower because the sizes are generally smaller. I don't think there are any big units above one million for foreigners to buy. They are small ones, 
but I think big one don't have. Uh, I don't think there's any big unit that value above one million. So yeah, so so quantums are smaller. Uh, but the good thing the building is new, right? And again, the plus point because you are so near to RTS, right? So there's only 150, 200 meters away. Um, and the build quality is quite nice, right? For the price that you paid, these owners probably paid cheaper than Tri Tower. They paid about 600 to 800 per square foot. And for the price that they paid, I think what they got in, in, in finishes and material and workmanship was quite okay. Right, I don't think Twin Tower owners are unhappy. They are generally quite satisfied with that. And I think Twin Tower owners, the first batch of owners, the first buyers, are generally in the money, all make money uh, buying uh, this project, right? And are quite happy. Lah. So um, for the price that you paid, right? So, and newish building also. Yeah, if you go there, everything still is quite new. The negatives is again, same as Tri Tower, the walkway is not sheltered, not sheltered. So you walk out, you come out of Tri Twin Tower, is the rain, sun, all will hit you. Uh, traffic, right? There's no proper walkway. You, you, some parts you're walking on the road, so it feels very weird to walk to RTS station. And again, all depends very much in the future whether they will make this better. But right now, don't have the walkway. is totally not sheltered and not very safe to walk. Okay. So uh, again, the other problem is the site is very small, 1.48 acres. So if you go up to the facilities floor, similar to uh, Tri Tower, there's nothing much, just a pool, a smallish pool, uh, a gym, some function room. Uh, they got some sky facilities and that's it. There's no big area to really enjoy, right? You will spend most of the time in your unit. Your the facility areas are nothing, nothing much to really shout out. Right? No big area to really go lah, right? So small site, right? In Singapore, normally you call it like boutique condo, right? Very small where you cannot, don't have a lot of facilities to enjoy. So same problem with this with this project Twin Tower Tri Tower earlier. But again, uh, I want to highlight again Twin Tower occupancy now very very good. I mean, if you go to try and view a unit, very likely they're tenanted. You will hardly see an empty unit for you to see. If it's empty, the owner choose to to let it empty lah. If the owner want to rent out, sure can rent out one. Uh, Twin Tower Tri Tower. Uh, today. Okay, option number three is Coronet Residences. Now, Coronet Residences is part of the Ibrahim International Business District (IIBD). Now, you may have read about it in the news. It's basically an area where. Uh, this developer coronate properties. They're trying to build a new business district, so with office towers, hotels, mall, uh, some residential as well. So coronate residences is part of this. Uh, it's one of the residential towers uh, over there, right? And uh, five five one units free home, right? Uh, target completion two o two six two o two seven. So it's not completed yet. It's a so called new launch, right? Under construction, right? Uh, the positives is that on the distance wise, it's maybe if you just draw a straight line, uh, it's maybe two hundred meters away from the RTS. Uh, roughly, but it across a lot of major roads, so I don't know where they can use it like that. The the developer has uh intent to build a walkway, right? Uh, sheltered walkway also similar to R and F. Uh, a sheltered walkway, overhead walkway to go to the RTS station. But if you follow that walkway path, it's probably nearer to seven hundred meter walk lah. But still got walkway better than no walkway, right? Uh, at least you're sheltered from the rain, uh, from the weather and from traffic, right? So uh, in that sense, there is a walkway being planned, but that walkway right now also haven't. Uh, built yet. Uh. It's, it's only groundbreaking. I don't really see any active construction work about the walkway. So not sure about that. Right. And uh, one, one more thing good about the uh, coronate residences is that the unit sizes are very, very investor friendly. If you're a property investor, you want to buy JB as an investment, I think uh, unit sizes in coronate, property, uh, coronate residences are the best. Uh, they have a very nice uh, hotel room size, very investor friendly budget. Right. They have another layout, one plus one, which can actually be a two bedder also. Just nice size where the quantum is not too big, very investor friendly sizes, good for rental, right? Uh, which I think uh, best layouts for investors, right? <laughs> Coronate residences, right? And uh, I think if you believe in the whole IIBD Ibrahim uh, International Business District, right? I think we it's, it's very good because they got hotel plan up, they got office tower, they got one bank confirmed building the uh, office tower right now for them. There's also a mall uh, there. So if the whole IIBD developed, I think this whole is a very big, nice integrated development. Uh, with a lot of uh, nice things in it. So that is the plus point, uh, being part of IABD. Okay, so what are the negatives? Negatives number one is the project is still very early stages of construction. You can't see the superstructure. I think they've only built the podium. You can't see the superstructure yet on, on these coronate residences. Uh, the other problem is that the, not just this condo project, the IIBD itself, a lot of it is still under construction or planning. So there's nothing you can really visit or used today, there's no track record. This developer also has no track record of running a mall, as far as we know. Which breaks. So this is the problem with IIBD. That is a lot of it is still drawing, planning, under construction. Nothing you can see or use today. And th which comes to the next problem, which is the developer itself. Now this developer is a private developer, right? So private developer means they're not listed company. So and because of that, we, we don't know their financials. We don't know whether they, they got the money to finish or not. Whether they have a lot of debt, 
not, we don't know. But we do know that this developer is linked to the uh, Johor Royal family, so they have the blessings of the Johor Royal family to do this. Uh, whether they can actually accomplish it in the long run, uh, difficult to say. This is the problem with private, private developers, okay? Uh, and um, yeah, and like I mentioned earlier, the walkway to the RTS is still in construction, it's not there right now, you cannot use it. And uh, again, this project, no car park provided. So if you are sensitive to that, you want a car park, there's no car park. So the car park you have to lease, right? Uh, otherwise, you don't use a car, right, for this project. The fourth project is uh, Keysight JBCC. Now, Keysight JBCC, there have been some marketing about this project in uh, Singapore recently. I think you may have seen it. Uh, now, this is a 482 unit project, freehold. Um, they are built by a private developer called Bangsa Heights Pavilion. They are from KL. Uh, again, target completion also around 2026, 2027, where the RTS is completed. Okay. So, uh, what are the positives? Um, it is con yeah, walking distance to the RTS, about 750 meters, more or less, and you bypass a lot of commercial area, which is quite exciting. So, uh, it will not be a boring walk. Uh, fairly safe walk, I guess, because you're going through commercial area. they got, you know, walkway or that really traffic light or that so shouldn't be a problem yeah uh, quantum is small so I think to buy a unit is roughly about two hundred thousand sing dollars to buy one so you don't have to come out that much money uh, to buy uh, location also is in the JB city center heritage zone so you are you are in the Jalan Tan Hyok Ni area which is a uh, Jalan Shrus, uh, which which is a very hip conservation shop house heritage area so it's a very it's very near to the uh, Hyapju bakery where people buy the banana cake right uh, some of you who tourists may, may know this um yeah so that zone so very nice uh location right conservation shop house area uh and you have an option to let oakwood to manage your property that means oakwood uh the hotel chain will take your unit and run it like a, like a service apartment hotel and pay you a return right so that's a good thing uh, uh if you if you're very lazy like, right you let oakwood do it for you right and of course uh it's a nice building with retail downstairs nice design they got a candy level pool on the top so a very funky design building okay so the negatives is basically uh number one the project is still very early stages of construction if you go there i think superstructure not up maybe only the piling um yeah you don't see superstructure right now um the developer is private so the problem with private developer uh same as coronet residences is again you do not know much about them although we know they have some track record in kl but it's normally for smaller projects, so they have not done anything really big in KL before. So there's some concern here uh, about this developer, uh, whether they can really complete the project or not. So there's some fear because you don't know, right? Then uh, number three, again, no car park provided okay, uh, for this unit. Essentially, you're buying a hotel room, although it's a nice hotel room with a loft, right? So, but it's still a hotel room. Uh, generally, I don't like hotel room investment. Um, it's... There are pros and cons, uh, but in my opinion, the cons outweigh the pros, right? The uh, a lot of hotel and all this GRR guaranteed rental return long term management program, uh, a lot of them do not work out. I've seen so many that fail, uh, Malaysia even in the UK, uh, they don't work out. So it's it's a very difficult thing to do, like They only usually successful in the best case scenario, <laughs> right? And you not know, awkward as an operator, you think, hey, awkward, take care for me, man. But you must understand, awkward, uh, always pay themselves first, uh. They cover all their costs, uh, then only split whatever balance to to you as an owner right? so there's always that challenge right and you have you have don't have as much don't have as much control because you sign the contract right? it's like 10 years 20 years one you've got no control uh, over the property right so this is the challenge when you sign long uh, management contracts right and um, I also don't like the, the fact that the site is very small it's only a 0.5 acre site it's less than 0.5 I think so very small site uh, no big land to really use right so uh, and actually you look at the pricing on a per square foot basis it's quite high right um the project don't talk about it so much because they know it's high <laughs> but actually if you look at per square foot you are paying a quite high uh, per square foot so these are the negatives but of course the pros is that if you you want to park something in jb and have a so-called managed property this is a good one right and after 10 10 20 years when you take it back right after the management contract is over you get a nice property in a nice location yeah of course but yeah, yeah but you have to hold that 10 20 years uh. And that comes to number five, which is my favorite option, which is RNF Princess Cove. Now, uh, if you haven't watched my other videos, you will see that I normally talk about RNF Princess Cove. Um, so RNF Princess Cove is a uh, two phases right right now. So the first phase completed uh, in 2018, 3,004 units. So very large. Right? And this phase one is fully sold, right? Uh, and very highly occup uh, occupied today, right? The phase two is what we are generally selling now. And phase two will start to hand over keys uh, early this year. Uh, anytime now, so I think could be. I think the first case could be out by uh, the uh, yeah, could be literally tomorrow. I don't know, right? But <laughs> January, February, March, all the way until middle of the year, I think all the keys will be out. 
for phase two. So we're very close to phase two. Phase two, another 3,000 plus uh, units. So um, Freehold, uh, the developers, RNF Guangzhou, they are from China. I think in China, they are considered a top 10 developer, depending on how you define, but they are top, like, one of the big, bigger developers in China. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the plus points is that is walking distance to the RTS is about 650 meters from phase one. Now, 650 meters is, you may argue, it's not exactly near, but uh, the good thing about the, this distance is that it's a sheltered walkway. Fully sheltered, completed. Uh, this sheltered walkway is already completed. It's not like drawing or whatever, already finished, right? And um, you protect you from the rain, protect you from the sun. Uh, you can play your phone, <laughs> protect you from traffic, right? No, no car will bang you. So you can go all the way to RTS station, all the way to City Square uh, using this sheltered walkway. If you buy phase two, you're probably a bit further away, maybe nearer to 900 meters, but also fully sheltered walkway. So very good. And I also like RNF because it has a, it's an integrated development with a shopping mall downstairs. And this shopping mall will have, uh, today already has a supermarket, some eateries, you know, uh, food, there's some food, chicken rice, Burger Kings, uh, you know, some food there already, like, right? Uh, some zi cha there as well, uh, and and there's an opera house with show. So it's, it's a there's a dental clinic, there's a proper doctor clinic, do dobi pharmacies, right? Things like that. You know, we can buy shoes, some clothes. These are all there today, which is a very good thing. So it's very similar to like Bedok residences in Singapore or like North Point residences in Yishun, right? Fully integrated development. You take a lift, you go down. It's the mall already, which I think is a very big convenience factor. So those earlier choices I mentioned earlier, they don't have no supermarket, right? They got no F and B downstairs. They want to, they want they had to go out of their project, right? And uh, not convenient, uh, No, not as convenient as this one, Iron Princess Co. So uh, this is why I like it, right? And uh, because the developers still have a lot of land. Uh, they will have uh, incentive to further value add. They will have to build office tower, hotel, you know, future phases. This will help to keep the price stable or push the prices up, right, uh, in the future, which I think is a very big point. Uh, large land plot, so you, uh, like phase one, they have like a kilometer long uh, jogging track. You don't have that in the smaller projects because their size is so small, right? This one land big, so you can do one kilometer <laughs> jogging track. You got a lot more space to enjoy, like, right, if you buy the unit. Even if you buy a small one bidder, you got a big, project to enjoy right this is what i mean uh and of course because the project is large there's a lot of uh transaction history right to to help maintain valuation right resale transaction rental transaction i think we're very comfortable with the prices here because there's a lot of transactions so we we know uh, what are the market rates are very comfortably so i think that's very good uh for for this project what are the negatives Ross? um the negatives probably is if you, if you don't like high density project because this is a high density project um, similar to what you see in China or maybe Hong Kong is even more high density like, but along that lines are right so uh, if you don't like high density project this project unfortunately consider high density um, if you because GB city center will, will be high density like, because this area all busy one like, no town area show busy one like. if you want quiet place like, you will not buy near MRT you go further away <laughs> right like uh, Iskandar Putri, Medini Putri Harbour you know less less Busy place, right? Then you go there, la. But if you if you uh if you buy here, definitely this area is busier, right? Uh, because it's near MRT, right? Uh, so near immigration. So the other thing, if you don't like this project, the negative is if you don't like Chinese developer, la. For whatever reason, you don't like Chinese developer, you don't like Chinese design. When I say Chinese, I'm talking about China, la. China developer, China design. Uh, then you don't like, la. Some people are like that, right? They don't like. Then will be right? Then you have to look for other style of development, la, right? So, but yeah. Uh, these are the two reasons if you don't like RNF, the negatives, so to speak, right? Because some people like this. So, uh, overall, I still choose RNF as my number one choice. If you want to buy something walking distance to RTS, RNF is by far the best. I think very clearly the best. I mean, there they would be reasons that you buy the rest, the other four earlier mentioned. Uh, in some cases, you might prefer those. But I think, clearly speaking, yeah, RNF is the better one among all, all these. There's some of you might argue there are other projects, like, for example, SKS Pavilion or Sky Suite, all this. I didn't include them in this list because I only want to talk about five. I don't talk about ten. <laughs> they, the other, there are other choices which are also walking distance, but uh, further away maybe also quite long walking distance. So I don't want to include them. And uh, yeah, today video only have time for five. So these are the five which I think are the main, uh, main choices when you consider buying walking to JB. Right. So thank you very much. If you have any questions about today's video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below or if I didn't cover anything or I made mistakes in my video, I, I say something wrong or you have some questions or comments to add on, please feel free to comment in the comments below. Uh, if you're interested to buy, I am a property agent uh, in JV as well as in Singapore, so we can uh, arrange for viewings to show you, um, especially RNF Princess Cove, which I mentioned is my number one choice. So if you're interested to buy RNF Princess Cove and why 
want to find out more details about why I think this is the best project among to buy, uh, do let me know and I will send you more information. You can contact me at 8126-1626 uh, and uh, that's my Singapore number and I can arrange viewing to bring you there as well uh, and show you a full detail. Normally it takes about an hour or two to fully show you everything in RNA Princess Cove and appreciate right, why uh, this is a good buy today. Project is selling very well uh, right now. Um, I think by end of January, uh, both governments will have info more information out. I think you also see some things in the media. Singapore media very soon, right? Uh, within January of this year, I think after Chinese New Year, you will see sales uh, push up very strongly again for for all these uh, projects in JB. So thank you very much. <laughs> if you enjoy my content, do like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, click subscribe and like, and uh, do share with your friends. Uh, and um, yeah, we also on TikTok. Uh, do join the mailing list as well if you want to be part of our mailing list on to get more information about Jaw Property, uh, in Malaysia. Thank you very much and bye bye.